Wow, what happened to those days where you'd arrive to a new country and you would just relax after passage? I'm not sure if it ever happened, but it feels like it was happening at some point. <laughs> I came to Mexico yesterday and it was a whirlwind of getting here and doing all the pre paperwork, eventually not clearing in fully. I have to do that on Monday. And then I did have a couple of beers at the pool, which was really nice. And then I passed out at seven o'clock, I think. <laughs> Had a really good sleep, went for a walk with Boga this morning. And now I'm already within the next project, which is setting up the boat for living in the marina for two weeks. It's super hot. So I got out my AC fan, put up sunshade for the cockpit. And now I've got a get rid of all the passage mess and do the dishes, connect the water hose. It's, yeah. I think I'm gonna start by clearing the passage mess and then sitting down and making a list. Because I love making lists. I'm probably gonna write down some of the things that I already did and then take them off just because I like taking things off lists even better than making the lists. Hey house, let's get to work. I've actually been already working since like an hour and a half, so let's keep working. And I also gotta somehow squeeze in two days of editing, three days of editing, before tomorrow. How that's gonna work? Probably not. But hey, that's life. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> wow, time has been flying by lately and I realized that I didn't really capture much on camera. So I'm gonna give you a quick run through of what's been going on during the past three weeks. Maria came back to Maria Chapas to work on her boat Joanna and also because we had quite the recycling adventure planned. The German Embassy of Guatemala has booked in motion to give recycling workshops in the city of Belize and the city of Guatemala. So we geared up our mobile recycling machines and gathered all our stuff and hit the road with a bunch of equipment and of course my furry companion Boga. We traveled by land to the Rio Dulce and then from there we crossed the border to Belize and hopped into Epanga. And as usual, there were a couple of hiccups. Um, the mold that we had ordered for the recycling workshops was not quite working out so we had to do some last minute repairs and so we basically had a little pop-up repair workshop in one of the Airbnbs that we were staying in to repair the mold and sometimes I just seriously have to giggle at the way that we travel. <laughs> the first workshops in Belize were quite the success and we connected with a lot of wonderful people we were demonstrating the recycling process with our mobile recycling machines, shredding the plastic and then extruding it into carabinas and little turtle key hangers and there's a lot of smiles and laughter all around. And then after two days it was back to Guatemala City for some more recycling workshops and this time it was more with bigger school classes that were coming to our booth and we were basically giving um, a little talk to all the kids, running them through the process, and then a couple of them could try out the machines, and um, yeah, we're planting lots of tiny little seeds, teaching people about plastic recycling. What a week. It was definitely a super packed time, but it was also a lot of fun. We were super happy when we were back in the marina and we finally had some downtime and Maria built um, a really cool little barbecue from one of her old gas bottles and we had a little grill party next to Carl and yeah, it was just good to have a little bit of time to relax and um, enjoy the sunset. Well, I'm currently in Marina Chiapas, which is the southernmost marina on the Pacific side of Mexico. It's a really pretty little marina. I think probably the prettiest marina I've ever been in so far. There's three docks and Carl is on the longest one that's on the inward side of the marina. 
there is a nice little pool where we usually hang in the evenings and have a couple of cold ones. There's a bar. And they also have a little store where you can get a couple of drinks and some snacks. And they have a really nice restaurant, the Bows restaurant. They also have a very big dry storage area with a big crane to haul out pretty big boats. Well, I did not want to come back to the boat. They have different rates for in the water, like on the dock. And there's like a special hurricane season rate that is if you're in the water for the full four months, then you only pay $300 flat. Doesn't matter how big your boat is. And then there's also the dry storage, which is $240 a month. And then there's the normal dock fee outside of hurricane season, which I forgot how much it is. There's a couple of really nice paths that you can walk along. The marina is really well cut. There's really nice green areas around where you can take a little stroll. And then there's two beaches in the north and in the south of, um, of the marina. There's Puerto Madero, where you can go shopping, which is like 20 minutes from here. And then there's Playa Linda. Both of those places have beaches. Puerto Madero, you can even do some surfing. So yeah, it's a really nice spot. You've got really great facilities and people are super helpful. I've really enjoyed my stay so far here in Marina Chiapas. I think it's the first time since Shelter Bay that I've been in a marina where there was like you know, some kind of community. And I've made some really good cruising friends here, met some great people, and we've had some really good parties at the pool, around people's boats, <laughs> and yeah. I feel like I've been stuck in the office, editing and doing stuff for in motion on the computer for like, weeks on end and I feel like I'm getting a little bit frustrated. So the best medicine when you're frustrated, at least for me, is to go out, explore, enjoy nature and get my head free. And above all, what I need right now is to not look at my YouTube analytics because the algorithm. I think making videos was a lot more fun before I started looking at the numbers in depth. It definitely takes the fun out of stuff. So, instead of being frustrated and annoyed, I'm gonna toss the kayak in and go on a little adventure, yay! This is where I came in with Paul from El Salvador and this behind me around the corner is where the marina is and we're going this way trying to get into this channel. There's a lagoon at the end of the channel. I don't think we can go all the way there though because I think there's constructions. At least that's what it looked like on the satellite pictures. Well, are you excited to be on a, on a kayak trip? Are you excited? Are you excited? No, I want to go to land. I want to be in a stupid kayak. I want to be land. I want to play with land. Alright, we're quite a bit into the now now past the bridge now this is what it looks like here apparently some people from the marina are going to take this trip today as well so i'm hoping maybe i can get a tow back because i'm quite far out it's getting a little hot and there's lots of mosquitoes and i think Boga's patience is like coming to an end so I think we're going to turn around. Super beautiful up here though. Tons of birds. Really nice. 
this is nothing really where one could go to land and sort of like rest or be in the shade without either being attacked by mosquitoes or Uga even not wanting to go to land because she's like, hey, this is all nice dodgy here. Yeah, she's not happy. Como están? Un kayak. Ah, no vienen por aquí. I think I see our friends coming. Get in a ride. You're such a traitor, Booga. You're such a traitor. <laughs> cool. You feel very lucky. She just likes to drive us around. She's our chauffeur. I definitely like you driving me around. <laughs> It's been a fabulous little trip up the river that ended with a yummy meal in one of the beach restaurants. Just what I needed to lift up my spirits. And apparently there's some more entertainment coming to town very soon. But more about that next time.